Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on proof. So this is the fourth video on the topic. If you've not watched the first three, then you can look at those first. Uh, here we're going to look at proof of indices to start with. So this is one of the harder topics within proof, and it does also require a good understanding of your indices rules. So maybe that's another video you should check out before you look at this particular one. Uh, but in this example, uh, we're aiming to prove that the difference between 24 to the 12 and 15 to the 10 is a multiple of three. So any time you want to demonstrate that a number is a multiple of a, a particular number, you want to take out a factor of that particular number. So here we've got 24 to the 12 minus 15 to the 10. So the difference between these two numbers, and we want to show that it's a multiple of three. So the first thing we're going to do is rewrite 24 and 15 as multiples of three. So we've got three times eight, which is 24 to the power 12. And we've got 15, which is uh, three times five to the power 10. Now using our indices rules, we can rewrite this expression as three to the 12 times eight to the 12 minus three to the 10 times five to the 10. And now we can take out a factor of three from each of these expressions. So we get three lots of three to the 11 times eight to the 12 minus at three lots, oh sorry, that should be a closed bracket there, minus three lots of three to the nine times five to the 10. Uh, so these are just using basic indices rules. Uh, but here you can see that uh, we've got a factor of three outside of each of these brackets. We can take out the factor of three from uh, both of these expressions and use a set of double brackets. So we've got uh, three lots of three to the 11 times eight to the 12 minus three to the nine times five to the 10. So all we've done is just take out factors of three in each step. Uh, but as you can see, we've got three on the outside of this big set of brackets here, uh, and therefore this expression is a multiple of three. So we've managed to prove that the difference between these numbers is a multiple of three. So the last type of proof that we'll look at is proof with prime numbers. And in this particular example, we're aiming to show that five to the power 89 minus 401 is not a prime number. So five to the power 89, uh, we know is an odd number. And we know this uh, because we've got an odd number times an odd number, which gives us an odd number. You can check that with any example and you should realize that it's the case. Uh, but here we've got five times five times five times five, 89 times. So we've just got odd number times odd number, which gives us an odd number. And therefore uh, we've got an odd number minus 401. And now 401 is also an odd number. So that's an odd number minus an odd number. And an odd number minus an odd number gives us an even number. Now again, you can check that with any example you want, uh, but this is a fundamental piece of logic uh, that you need to be able to fall back on. Uh, and this is perfectly acceptable as a form of proof, but this gives us an even number. And even numbers cannot be prime, uh, seen as though even numbers equals a multiple of two. And if it's a multiple of two, then it has more than two factors, therefore not prime. So this symbol with the three dots means therefore, so five to the 89 minus 401 is not a prime number. One thing I should quickly point out though, is that there is an exception to this rule of an even number not being a prime number, and that is two itself. Uh, so two is a prime number, uh, but here we've got five, five to the power 89, which is much, much larger than 401. Uh, so five to the 89 minus 401 is not gonna be equal to two. So we don't need to worry about that in this particular case. If you want to practice some proof exam style questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform and here you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll get instant feedback on so you can keep track of your progress and find out what you need to do in order to improve your actual exam. So if this is something you're interested in, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.